John Ratcliffe joins us tonight with his reaction to what is happening in that country tonight. Mr. Ratcliffe, thank you so much for coming on. So hey, Tucker, it, it's to hard to have perspective on this for most people, including me, when you see these videos. How significant, how serious are these protests potentially, do you think? Well, we've never seen protests like this uh, in over 30 years in China, uh, and it really will force uh, the Chinese government to change their governance model. Ever since Tiananmen Square, Tucker, what the Chinese Communist Party has done, they said, we're not going to let that happen again. We're going to engage in the largest uh, massive surveillance state in the history of the world against our own citizens. And if we get even a whiff of discontent, uh, we're going to stamp it out. And they've been successful in doing that. Uh, this is the first time in 33 years that we've now seen nationwide protests. And it's not just a, the problem or the challenge for Xi Jinping and the Chinese Communist Party is it's moved from just a one issue, COVID issue, to now a call for his removal and for regime change. So I don't think anyone knows exactly how this will play out, but it's very serious. Uh, and very clearly, the Chinese Communist Party is going to have to adopt a different governance model go going forward in light of what's happening there. I don't think a day has passed in the last two years where the rest of us haven't gotten a lecture about, quote, democracy from the Biden administration. Given their commitment to democracy, how can they not have a position on this? Well, the president's statement today was, uh, let's just be nice, it was, uh, it was late, slow, weak, uh, and cowardly. That's about the kindest thing you can say. I mean, this is yeah. the same president who... Uh, had an opportunity to confront the, pre the Chinese president after three years and a, and a million Americans were killed by a virus that originated in China and he didn't do it. So, so as disheartening as it is, it's not surprising. Um, and, you know, I thought you and Laura really outlined, you know, what's happened here. The silence from the left is deafening. You know, as DNI, I saw this type of, uh, you know, intelligence on a daily basis about how brutal yes. the Chinese Communist Party could be. Um, but on the, le uh, on the left, what we've seen is, uh, you know, some are silent because of greed. That's your Hollywood crowd, your uh, Wall Street crowd, your NBA, groups and organizations that want access to 1.4 billion Chinese. And no matter what uh, they do, uh, uh, it's not going to be enough to turn them away from that. But the other, as Laura said, are, are the group that's complicit. That's your Washington politicians, your blue state governors, your Dr. Anthony Fauci's, your uh, teachers union president, Randy Weingarten. These are the people who can't condemn the Chinese Communist Party because to do so would be to condemn, the, condemn themselves. They are the group that has praised and protected and defended and in some cases emulated the same lockdown measures that the Chinese Communist right. Party is engaged in right now. And to condemn the Chinese Communist Party would be to condemn themselves and to admit the American people that they've been lying for three years and that they were wrong. And I don't think we're going to see that. Anyone who's awake at all can see exactly what's going on here. And I think they're playing with fire. You can't, you can't keep lying to this uh, level forever, I would say. John Ratcliffe, great to see you tonight. Thank you so much. You, you too. Thanks, Tucker. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. I'm Tucker Carlson tonight.